Paula and Max. Using the phone in the street. Paula and Max are having breakfast. Their older cousin Sophia is with them. She spent the night at Paula and Max's house. Sophia, don't you need to be at school for the first lesson? asked Paula. Yes, I do. What about you? Sophia asked. We're free during our first lesson, answered Paula and Max. Sophia looks at her watch. Is it that late? I didn't realize what time it was because of all the new messages on my phone. I've got to go. Sophia grabs her bag, her purse and her phone. Then she runs off. Wait, we're coming too, called Paula and Max. On the footpath, Sophia is looking at her phone. She is distracted by it and she is not paying attention to the traffic. Sophia, look out, called Max. A lorry's coming and you're really close to the road. Sophia quickly takes a step back. The lorry sprayed a huge fountain of water on the pavement as it drove past. Sophia was dry, but her shoes got wet. Wow! It's good that you warned me, Max, called Sophia. To speed things up, the three of them get their bikes from the garage. Paula knows a shortcut. They cycle through the park. Sophia's phone suddenly rings. She immediately stops. Paula is able to swerve out of the way just in time. They nearly crashed. She would have gone straight into Sophia. Wow, Sophia! Watch what you're doing, shouted Paula. Sorry, my friend just called me, replied Sophia, looking rather embarrassed. That's okay, said Paula, but it's really dangerous to use your phone when you're on your bike. Sophia had scarcely got off her bike when she was looking at her phone again. So, without further ado, Max took her by the hand and brought her safely to the other side of the road. Ha <laughs> ha! laughed Paula. You're such a gentleman, Max, and you're helping Sophia to cross the road. The three of them say goodbye when they reach the classroom. Sophia has to switch off her phone now because phones are not allowed in class. Before switching it off, she reads in the class chat that the first class is cancelled as her teacher's car has broken down. Hmm, she thinks. All that rushing was for nothing. After school, Sophia switches off her phone before she cycles home. She thinks to herself, Paula and Max are right. My phone's too distracting when I'm in the street. And also, I'll be so much safer and I'll feel a lot calmer when I get home. In the evening, Sophia is heading to the swimming pool with her dad, who quickly looks at his phone when the lights go red. This distracts him, and he doesn't notice that the lights have gone green again. He only drives off when other cars behind him start hooting their horns. Dad, said Sophia, I got distracted by my phone on my way to school this morning, and it nearly caused me to crash into Paula. And I should have left my phone alone when we were at the traffic lights, replied her dad. You know what? In future, it would be better if we switched off our phones when we were in traffic, suggested Dad. 